life is hard. It's, it's really tough and it can kick you when you're down. The ability to get back up and rise above is one that is epic, is one that will take you far in life. And if you become better at doing that, you become stronger and you'll have a better life. In this video, I'm going to try to help someone who is having a hard time. And hopefully by making this video, you can also help this person because after watching this video, if you have any advice, leave a comment. Maybe you can help them. This person is 20 years old and they are from India. And the email screams, help. I'm gonna start this video by slowly reading the email and then doing my best to answer it. The subject is needed some advice on life. The message reads as follows. Hey, math sorcerer. So I am a 20 year old guy from India. I dropped out of college last year because I couldn't understand anything. I was studying there for one year, bachelor's of science in physics. I didn't understand anything because I didn't study high school level physics. I passed out without even knowing what moment of inertia was. So I took a drop to study, then make the foundation strong because I believe I like to study physics. So at this point in time, I'm stuck. I didn't sit and study again. And I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I get food because my mother makes it. Um, should I continue to study or should I leave studying and do something else? I don't know. What can you even do without a degree? What am I supposed to do? So first, let me say thank you for your message. David, this person's name is David. I appreciate it. I think, I think the fact that you're reaching out for help already puts you ahead of the game, right? Even, even just typing out the email and contacting me, I know that had an empowering effect on you because a lot of times it's like, it's like asking a math question, right? When you, when you type it out, you figure it out while you're typing it. You know what I'm talking about. The same thing comes with questions like this regarding life advice. So first, when you say you're only 20, my friend, you have your whole life ahead of you. You have your whole life ahead of you. I mean, you have so much time. I mean, you do. Your whole life. Only 20 years old. You can do anything. I, mean, I didn't even start college until I was 24, and I, and I dropped out of high school. You can do anything in this world, my friend, so you have plenty of time. Secondly, let me say that there was a reason you struggled with physics. I'm not really familiar too much with the Indian education system, but I do know this, it is hardcore. It is super hardcore. I have a friend who got his PhD in physics from uh, an Indian university and, and a bachelor's and a master's, and it's hardcore, right? They have some really good schools in India, and I, I think they take it very seriously, especially physics and mathematics, it is no joke. So the fact that you struggled because you didn't see it in high school, I think is, is normal. It doesn't reflect on you in any way. And you say that you didn't sit and study again after taking a break. That indicates that perhaps you didn't really want it. Does it mean you're lazy? Right? Does it mean you're lazy? I mean, it could, it could, but I don't think it does. Most people are not lazy. That's what I believe. Most, most people secretly want to work hard. They do. Even if you think you're lazy or not. There's other reasons people don't work hard, but it's not laziness. So I don't think you're lazy. I think perhaps you maybe had doubts. Maybe you thought you couldn't do it. Maybe it was just hard. So you thought there's no way I'll ever learn. You know, why put in the effort if I can't learn? So what should you do with your life? That's the big question. You know, take a step back. Ask yourself what you really want. 
yes, it's true. You, you, you can do things without a degree, but it's, it's better to have a degree in something than nothing. I mean, I always used to think you can lose your job, but you can never lose your degree, right? I mean, you can get a degree in anything, and that's better than not having a degree. Simply because a lot of jobs in the world require that you have, you know, a degree. So my advice is reflect on what you really like. Reflect on whether you want to return to physics. And if it's something you really want to do, then you should do it. But take it slow. Take it slow. And, that, and that's, that's a hard thing to do for people. It's a hard thing to do for me. Take it slow. Realize that you might need more time, especially since your background is weaker. You know, you didn't see it in high school. Maybe a lot of these other students, they were already like physics gurus. You know, they already knew everything when they got to high school. I mean, I've known extremely talented high school students. I've been involved in high school competitions and stuff. And I ho helped host one for many years. And so I've seen incredibly smart high school students. Incredibly smart. But that doesn't mean you're not as good. It just means that you haven't been exposed to it. Right? You might be better than those students. You might have this natural raw ability that lives inside you. You just, you just don't know it's there because you haven't had the opportunity to take the time to unlock it because you missed out during high school. You know, even myself, I, I barely learned any mathematics in, in, in high school. It wasn't until college that I started learning basic math, rise over run, basic things. So there's always hope and you're young. So take a step back, figure out what you wanna do. My advice is go to college for something. Don't just, don't just give up. And I know they say college isn't for everyone. Not everyone should go to college. And I agree, but most people can get a degree in something. And I, and I really think that's better than not getting a degree. And yes, there's people who make it without going to college. But it's better to go. Why not, right? Why not take the opportunity? Later on, it's going to be harder. And I'm sure that many of you watching this video know that. There's a lot of people. I've had a lot of students who are older. And they go back to school in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, 80s. It's pretty rare for the 80s, but 60s and 70s is more common and still pretty rare. And it's hard when you have a family, a job, responsibilities. It's hard to add school on top of that. You're still young. You get food because your mother makes it, like you said. So take advantage of your mother's food <laughs> and go back to school, my friend. That's, that's, that's my advice. Do something. It doesn't have to be physics, right? Maybe, I, again, I don't know how the Indian education system works, but if you can just go back and just take a light load, right? Take, take an easy class, something that will help you get your confidence back, you know? Start exercising every day, you know? Build a routine where every day you do a little bit of exercise, you do a little bit of math, a little bit of physics, or whatever you're focusing on, right? Just be productive every day. Be the best version of yourself. You're only 20 years old. You have so much time, my friend. So much time. Your whole life is ahead of you. It really is. Anyways, this email really hit me hard. I just The email just screamed despair. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. If you all have any advice for this person, drop a comment in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to learn math, check out my courses and books. Links are in the description of this video. But more importantly than any of that, what do you think? What's, what's, what's the right thing for David to do? Leave a comment. Stay strong, my friends.